Hey everyone, I have another short book review for you, one of my favorite books. I decided to reread this a week ago and thought I may as well review it now as the rest of the month will be dedicated to the Dresden Files, it being the month of October and all. The Killer Angels, in my opinion, is one of the greatest books about the Civil War ever written. In fact, some may argue that this is the best novel ever written about this time in American history. It's basically a story about an event that determined what our nation was to become. One battle in Gettysburg. Now, I know a lot of you would much rather have an angioplasty than read about the Civil War. Michael Shera tried something that hadn't really been done before, and that's tell the story through the eyes of the commanders. Those are Confederates General Lee, Longstreet, and Armistead, and Federal Generals Hancock, Buford, and Reynolds, among others. The thoughts of the commanders are captured in a way that uh, conveys the strategy and confusion that occurs in such a massive an important battle. General Lee, for example, for all his accolades about his superior tactics throughout the war, made one huge miscalculation at Gettysburg that pretty much cost the Confederates the battle and ultimately the entire war. More than any person though, I think people will mostly enjoy reading about Joshua Chamberlain at Little Round Top and the account of the 5th Maine's famous sweeping bayonet charge that kept that ground. When they were all gunned, they had a little ammo left and had been fighting most of the day but Chamberlain made the call to that sweeping bayonet charge that forced the rebels back. I mean, look up a huge set of balls in any medical encyclopedia, and you'll see a picture of Chamberlain. Cher won the Pulitzer Prize for this novel, and like many great novels throughout time, it wasn't well received by critics or the public when it was first published. It has since gone on to, like I mentioned before, one of the greatest novels ever written about warfare. So... If you're interested in reading about uh, one of the most significant events in the United States history through the context of one battle, I highly recommend The Killer Angels. And let's all admit to ourselves that this time gave us America's greatest contribution to facial hair. Anyway, that's all I have for now, and I'll see you next time. Later.